Hello farmers and welcome back to American Falls still in the month of September and the cash flow has changed a little bit. I did one contract in between episodes which was fertilize a field for five grand. Uh, but now you can see we got ourselves a McCormick tractor and we got the Horse Pronto seed drill. I just filled up with 4,000 liters of seed which you have to buy when doing a contract. And you guessed it, we are planting a field today. The field right in front of our mobile home Although, I kind of forgot, what am I planting? I uh, better check on that, because that's going to be kind of key. Uh, they want canola. All right, uh, canola it is. There we go. So, I did go on Lancy Boy's Facebook page, and yes, there will be an update to the game coming out at some point that will require a new save game. So, my plan on American Falls until then will probably just have the one episode per week. Uh, I did have one a couple days ago asking about, you know, and warning people about possibly an update to the uh, map coming on out. But uh, yeah, we'll just have the one episode per week until then, I think. And then we'll just be doing contracts, saving up the cash. And then when the update does come out, hopefully we'll have enough to, well, maybe buy the, a farmyard. Uh, I think the one right across the way is the one I should go for because it does have a silo on it. And a good amount of sheds. Now, this is the field here that we will be drilling. So let's just pull right on in here. And put this on down. I was um, kind of interested. I did activate the Mark Thor root crop harvester that I've used in many of the series here in FS22. Because I was looking at harvesting for 54,000. Harvesting for 49,000. Harvesting potatoes for 29,000. Harvesting potatoes for 31,000. What I could do is accept all these contracts, get our root crop harvester with a wider header and faster harvesting speed, and I could make $150,000, $60,000 on those four contracts alone. And we all know if you've been, if you've seen me use that root crop harvester and a fast header, those jobs will not take me fast, you know, not take me long at all to get done. I'll get them done really, really fast. But then I think some people will say, well, if you're just going to do that, why don't you just uh, cheat the money on in? And do it that way. So, I don't know. Uh, for now, I'm going to pass up on it. I, like I said, I don't want to go too hard on this series yet. Why well, I say too hard. We we're going to take it easy anyways. But easier until the update comes out. Now, I did. I'm recording this on... Is today the 13th? No, today is the 14th of September. I went on the uh, Giants uh, forum page to see what maps or what mods we're in testing. And I did not see American Falls on the list, so yeah, I don't know when the update's going to be coming out or anything like that. But all I saw on Lancy Boy's Facebook page is there'll be an up. There's an update in the works that will require a new save game. I suppose if you you know if you want to keep on playing in American Falls and don't want to update the game, then you're not going to need a new save game. Uh, checking out some of the updates that's going to be coming on out. I guess there's a. Um, something to do with a bale sell point for cotton, I think it was. Um, reduce amount of trees for improved FPS, which I did not check on this map. I mean, the area that I'm currently in, in the upper right hand corner, you can see, you know, I'm at 59 and 60, so that's, that's about the best that you're going to get on a farming simulator map. Um, and th there's a few updates as well alongside those so I mean when the update comes out there's nothing that says that you have to update the map so if you're having no issues with the map and you're a far enough ways into it and you don't want to do an update just don't update the map if you can keep on playing on the save game that you're on but since we're just starting out here and we just got ourselves the Voltra tractor and we got ourselves the fertilizer spreader you know we'll just keep building up the money and then when the update comes out um, whatever money that we have I'll get everything transferred over to the new save and we'll be starting in August again or possibly I could advance some months along and we can kind of just pick up where we left off as well so with that being said uh, yeah today we're just going ahead and drill this canola field and get it all done if I have any seed left over I will unload it in uh, by our mobile home that way we have some for the future Kind of hoping for a field. 
it's I do like the way the fields are shaped here because it, it does make it a little bit more interesting and then of course if you were to buy the field you can always uh, take down trees and merge them together but it's kind of interesting that Lancy boy did it on most of the fields so I don't know how to do something with the uh, drainage for the fields for the flooding I don't know anything like that um, I don't think I've gotten any rain of course I've only been here for a month and a half we start in August and we're halfway through September so I you know it hasn't rained here or anything like that yet so I'm not too sure I'm pretty sure the flooding is only gonna happen when it rains or is it a particular particular time of year like in the spring after the snow melts I'm not too sure shouldn't take me too long to get this field drilled I was looking for other jobs that Frank or Francine could do and currently there are no fertilizing jobs uh, I was I was still kind of tempted to get the plow and put the plow on backwards on the vulture and that way that would be able to handle it and I could send them off there is a big contract for plowing I think field number two and that would pay something like 20 some odd grand but I'm trying to avoid uh, putting the plow on backwards and have because it will work that way but I decided against that because like I said I don't really have any set goals here on American Falls so just come on uh, and and farm uh, eventually we'll get ourselves the farmyard and equipment and just go along and we'll just farm on this map until we think we've uh, it's time to move on no set plans, nothing like, oh, challenges or anything like that. The only thing we can't do is take out a loan because that's part of the storyline. Now, the only thing that's part interesting of this uh, type of storyline is the farmer that was here went ahead and sold everything, the land and the farming equipment. So we're doing contract work for the farmers that that farmer sold it to. So in a way aren't like the new farm owners in the land part of the community or yeah I, I, don't, I don't know we'll, we'll just try to put that in the back pocket somewhere and worry about that at a later date so we're, we're just here to do what we can uh, and, and build up a farm for the community that way when we leave here we won't be selling everything we're just we're just kind of like a farm hand if you will a farm manager uh, the money's not really ours it belongs to the community so our job is to manage that money, build up a farm, and then when we leave here, um, we get the key to the city, uh, as they say. So we'll be welcome here all the time and maybe get free drinks in the bar. If there's a bar here, we'll get free drinks. I don't know if there's a bar or not. Probably not. So the one thing I did do, if you watched, uh, yes, no, it's not yesterday's episode. Wait, was it yesterday's episode? Uh, well, recently on Oceanside Forest, I went ahead and bought the New Holland T8, which I said I was going to do here because I kind of, you know, but I've been goofing up quite a bit lately. More, more often than usual, let's just say that. But I said I was going to have the T8 here, and I got excited with all the money I had in Oceanside Forest. I bought the T8 for over there. So for here, our next tractor will be... Um, whatever, whatever we find, which by the way, I have not checked in the used section. Looks like that stuff is still there. No one wants that stuff, apparently. And right now, this is the only seating contract that there is. Like I said, I was trying to find ways to get, because we have another tractor just sitting back at the home, um, get that being put to use. But those potato contracts were very tempting. I was like, we can make 150 grand in no time flat. Now, I, I wouldn't even need a trailer, I don't think. Because that root crop harvester that I use can have a million liter capacity. So I can harvest the whole field just about. Uh, one field is rather big. And then deliver it to the sell point without using a trailer. Because we don't have a trailer. I do love how, if you look ahead of us, that cornfield you really notice the uh, how the breeze is affecting the crops. The base game has a little bit of that, but not to the extent to where it's really noticeable. I mean, you really have to pay attention to it. 
But here in American Falls, and I think there's a couple other maps that do this as well. Uh, modern maps, that is, to where you can really see the crop swaying in the breeze. And there's some other things I'm still surprised that a modder hasn't brought into the game because I think uh, it could be done. And that is, you know, working with like pesticides and, and something like that for insects. So, I mean, you could use like a weed sprayer, I would think, weed fertilizer sprayer, and kind of mod that over to spray pesticides. And you can make, you know, uh, infest infestations of fields kind of like the weeds do. So, yeah, like in precision farming, when you get weeds, you get spotty weeds here and there. I think they could use something like that for, for insects, if you will. And then you got to go spray for pest, you know, spray pesticides on, on a field. And if you want to get really involved into it, and I'm pretty sure there's a modder out there that's very talented enough to do that. You could have different types of insects, and you need different, different types of pesticides to coincide with the insects that you got. And it's always been mentioned as well, like uh, weather damage. So we do, you know, we have do do have crop destruction in the game. So why not have like weather conditions where you can get crop destruction from heavy winds and all that? But then that's something that you can't really uh, stop. So like with weeds and like I was just mentioning with insects and pesticides, you know, that's something you can pre prevent. Like if a storm comes through like a thunderstorm and you get heavy winds there's nothing you can really do to protect your crops so um, I don't know how we implement that into the game other than it just sucks that you planted a field of corn and a storm comes through and 90% of the corn got flattened out this McCormick is a nice tractor I mean, all the tractors are, I consider, are technically nice. It's just, for me, it's eye candy. What do I like the looks of? And it's not like I've ever driven any of these tractors before in real life to give an honest opinion of, oh, well, this equipment is better than that equipment because real life situations, you know? I think the 4,000 liters of seed that I bought is going to be more than enough to get this field done. So we'll have some extra left over. I just got to stay a little bit focused because the field has been cultivated, it looks like. And there's not much difference between the cultivation look and the drilling look, if you will. So I just got to pay attention to what I'm kind of doing. I didn't even see how much this field is paying me to do so, but I spent enough on seed. Um, how much am I getting paid to do this? Almost 10 grand. Yeah, you can see all the harvesting contracts. Yeah, I was going to, like I said, I was going to think about buying the plow. $22,000 for field number two. And field number two is right up here. Uh, that's a big field. Uh, this is, just to give you a rough idea how big that field is, this is a field that I fertilized at the beginning of last episode. And this field over here is the one we were in in the John Deere cultivating. I can see myself in the future on this map, like if I were to buy this field, or if I, when I do get this field, I would assume, uh, I'd be cutting down those trees and then making more uh, workable fields. I mean, Quartz Play would be able to figure this out, but it would be like a lot of stopping and turning and all that. And as for me doing this field, I'm just going to be doing circles around and around and around. But we'll get it done. We'll get paid our 10... Th well, it's not going to be 10,000. Uh, it's going to be more like 8,500 because I borrowed the items. Yeah, we are 50% done, so... I'm going to have 3,000 liters of seed left over, which is fine. I'll use it at some point. But the more fields we get done like this... Uh, more opportunities we'll have for fertilizing, which we all know that I love because with the fertilizer spreader that we got, 42 meter wide working with, it doesn't take long to get fields done.
I just keep thinking back to those potato contracts because we could have like $150,000 more in our back pocket. And to lease the root crop harvester, we're only talking roughly about 15,000. And then of course the header can't be more than like a thousand or two. And if I go over the hour for doing all four fields, who cares? Because we'll be bringing in like 150, 160,000. Alongside, as we know, the extra crop that you get off a field. I mean, potatoes don't go for much, but usually you get a decent amount. And now in four fields, that'd be quite a bit. But I'll restrain myself. We're not going to do it here. At least not today. <laughs> Yeah, the next purchase for us, I think, is, I would say, a bigger tractor before I go and get a farmyard. Because at least with a bigger tractor, then I could possibly get, like, the plow and actually use it the way it's meant to be used. And then we can uh, really start making some more money. So yeah, as for, you know, I was going to say, I was going to get a T8, New Holland, but maybe we'll get like a Fent 1000 or, uh, let's see, I'm going to be getting a Deutz on the other series. Hey, we'll just uh, wing it. I mean, we never know. Something might come up for sale that will benefit us as well. But uh, I think we were about halfway done with this field, a little bit more than halfway done. So let's go ahead and rip the rest of this canola on in. And then uh, maybe we'll have a look to see what else we possibly could be doing today. As you can see, we are 90% done. So that means 10% more to go, right? <laughs> That's what my math tells me. I'm not used to working in fields kind of this shape, so I've been kind of zigzagging here and there. Just uh, seeing the bigger spots and taking care of those first. And then moving on. I've just been sitting here thinking uh, how to advance the series currently until the save game or, or the update to the uh, American Falls update comes up. So, yeah, I think uh, just keep doing the contracts one episode a week until then. Uh, get enough money in between until we can buy ourselves a decent sized tracker. Um, I think there might even be a mod I may try out in this series. Not too sure how I can. I, I think I can fit into the play style. Uh, a mod just came out for oil production, which seems kind of interesting. So I think we can fit that in here. Say uh, we buy a piece of land and we find out there's oil in the ground. Well, we can do some oil production, possibly. I just saw on the mod hub yesterday. I think it was yesterday, something like that. 
just gave it a quick glance ago. It seemed interesting, but uh, obviously I haven't downloaded it or tried anything yet. Because I don't want to do any production buildings that make us a whole bunch of money. Because that could kind of ruin the series in some sense. By having millions of dollars and just being able to buy anything anytime you want. I want to gradually build up the farm. That's why I'm not doing those uh, potato harvest. Although it would uh, speed up the progress of getting us a farmyard. And, well, that's probably about it. But still, that's, that's a good start, getting ourselves a farmyard. I think the uh, bigger tractor should come first before a farmyard. Because if I got two tractors, that means I can start doing multiple contracts at the time without borrowing items. Kind of way we did on East Finally. We, we slowly built up, got ourselves a few pieces of equipment. We did buy a piece of land on East Finally for 50, I think it was like 49,000. Got ourselves a nice little hut to sleep in. And then we just started parking everything on that little piece of land that we had. I can see the series going quite a ways, meaning at least a hundred episodes, uh, possibly more. But I don't want to get too far ahead of myself seeing this is episode three. Actually, I think we'll be doing rather well for ourselves once we get around to year number two in the springtime because I'm sure a lot of fertilizing contracts will start appearing again because it is harvest time so most of the fields are either ready for harvest or have been harvested they just gotta wait for crops to be put back into them and then they'll be like hey we need some fertilizing done and I'll be like I'm the man for the job or, or at least Frank or Francine might be and we'll bring in loads of cash could possibly even go ahead and get ourselves the cow farm because I do believe fermenting silos came with this map as well so we could easily make some TMR it's not gonna be like on hinterland where I gotta feed the cows every six hours it felt like we're not running the maize plus or anything like that here no maize plus no crop rotation no precision farming just base farming if you should, if you will oh the contract is complete uh let's go ahead and turn that off pick this on up now before i hit collect let me just go see if any any uh new contracts have come up in the meantime probably not here uh we do got a cultivating job but we just did cultivating a lot of harvesting jobs and plowing field number two that would take a while so I think we're just going to call it here. Probably going to be a short episode, at least for my standard uh, minutes I usually put out in an episode. But I mean, episode two was kind of a, an episode for you guys to be aware that there's an update coming out to the map. And then this episode here, I would like to do a little bit more, but the contracts are just rather big. And right now... I don't think I need to be getting to that, and I would like to advance a day. Let's unload the seed there. All right, let me get out of the tractor. And because when I complete the contract, this should all just disappear. So, yeah, minus 1456 for 8415. Let's go ahead and collect on that. And voila, that has disappeared. But we are up to 51,636. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, medium tractors. Uh, with a decent tractor with a lot of horsepower. Every every farmer's dream, right? Like, give me the tractor with a lot of horsepower, but give it to me cheap. Uh, is there a... Well, I see a, a couple of Deutz. Vulture we do have. I'm using Massey Ferguson elsewhere. A Kloss? Well, that's the... Uh, I think that's the one we use on East Vineland. A Landini, but I don't think that's 150,000. That's not going to really get up there in engine horsepower. 225, I mean, that's not bad. 
Um, if I go to large tractors, well, there's a 900 Fent. And that starts off at 300 horsepower. So that's something we could possibly work towards for sure. And 300 horsepower is nothing to sneeze at. So we can get a lot of work done with that for sure. But of course, whoops, we'll have to keep our eye on the sales page and see if something uh, jumps up at us. But I think that's what we're going to wrap up probably the month of September. Because, um, yeah, it's, it's getting kind of late. The sun's going on down. And the contracts, you know, I think we'll just move on to October. Yeah, I can see a few people saying, do the potato contracts. <laughs> yeah, I think that would just give us too much money too fast, too easily. And I don't want to advance too fast in the series. But then again, I also don't want to go too slow. Got to find that uh, perfect speed to be going at. But we'll get there. We'll get there. We're only in episode three and we're slowly working our way to uh, slowly helping the community back. But anyways, that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you again right here in American Falls. But until then, have a good one.